and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'll be showing you guys how i do my soil mix i'm also gonna insert clips of my plant updates and at the end of the video i'll be showing you guys my current setup for my succulents so if you guys want to see everything that i just mentioned just keep on watching as you can see i have a a setup right here and it's on the floor pumice uh, my potting mix that i got from shopee and vermicast I have never used um, vermicast ever when I started planting and for my Haworthias what I did is I used just this by itself which is okay I think my Haworthias, Haworthias are doing great but I think I'm gonna repot them after a week or two and try and put them with my own mixture I'm actually planning on buying perlite and um, some uh, other components that I need, but I'm definitely thinking about buying um, perlite so I can make my own mixture. So I won't do anything fancy. I just wanted to show you guys how I would mix it. trying to propagate but I don't think that's gonna work because they're a little mushy they're from green eyes and from my amabile or amabile I'm just gonna say it in a Filipino way and I think they're not gonna work because they're starting to get mushy and they're I don't know dying so well let's see how it goes but let's get started with planting you guys So I'm just showing you guys um, the plants that I'm currently air drying and as you can see I'm just grabbing a toothbrush to um, dust the excess soil off of the plants. Also I'm showing you the mother plant that I got the tiny succulent from hoping that this will survive and I'm also going to show you the Ichiveri Cupid that I planted um, a couple days ago and I noticed that it's showing some sign of um, fungus but um, I'm not worried because in the next clip I'll be showing another update of my plants two days later so as you can see I moved my succulents outside because I figured they needed some sunlight and in this spot they get indirect sunlight which I think is better so now this is how they look like on this big table um, I do have a few more succulents coming in in the next few days so I think I'll be able to fill this table up with succulents um, as you can see my Haworthias are doing great but again based on my experience I feel like or I find Haworthias low maintenance compared to Ichiverias I feel like Ichiverias are 
a little bit tricky, a little bit sensitive when it comes to overwatering, underwatering, and sun exposure. So they're really sensitive. So I'm still trying to salvage my green eyes, but I just I just don't know what's going on. Um, and pulling it out of the pot to check for roots, it's just not helping it. And on this side right here you can see my elegans just just sitting right there and um, these are its babies and um, they're still showing some yellow mushy leaves but that's okay because I'm not gonna water them until next week my cubic frost um, leaves are still still falling off but as long as the top part is healthy then I think it will make it and then for this one I noticed that it's starting to become leggy so I feel like it's because it needs more sunlight and also this one because it's starting to lose its color so I just put it out there to get more sunlight um, and then for this big one um, I noticed some yellow mushy leaves but again I think that's normal because it's adapting to the new environment and these are my new succulents that um, I'm just letting them sit out there and I haven't repotted them for four days because I watched a video that you don't have to repot them immediately um, you can just leave them and wait for the soil to dry and repot them on your own potting mix when it's all dry and then um, so this um, succulent right here this is frog toes and I used to have it in Guam but it did not make it so now I'm just trying to build uh, my new collection and this is how they look like two weeks later Hi, so this is another um, update about my plants. So I just want to show you guys the grow lights that my fiance uh, made for my plants. So ito yung DIY. This is a DIY um, grow light that we um, saw on a video from Andrew Vizuela, if I'm not mistaken. I can um, put his link in the description box below. And I can also put the link for the um, LED light that I got from Lazada. So as you can see at the bottom, this is where I put my bigger plants. And dalawa yung ilo nito actually, dalawang strip ng lights. And then dyan ko nilagay yung mga mas malalaki kong um, plants, mga succulents. And then sa gitna yung medyo medium size. And then at sa taas, syempre yung mga medyo mas maliliit. So, Alam niyo naman na favorite ko yung Litops ko and yung Haworthia. Supposedly that nga magkatabi sila pero sa ngayon hiwalay muna sila. So ito yung mga Litops ko na nag-elongate na nga sila kasi super uh, walang sunlight lately. It's been raining the past few days. Pero that's okay so the grow lights are here to rescue them. So ito yung pinapropagate ko na jelly bean. Sobrang cute niya. Parang each day. Nag-grow siya and nag grow so that's so cute. So I'll just leave that um, propagation in there until um, it's stable enough to be planted in a different pot. So ayan, ito yung mga Korean succulents ko. And then ito yung mga ibang common succulents na. Uh, tulad nito, ito, uh, matik na tong hindi mag-survive. Kasi meron siyang parang fungus or something like that. Basta parang nabulok yung roots niya. Pero ngayon okay na siya. As well as that one at the in the middle. Tapos ito yung Haworthia ko naman. Ito na sila. Ito yung variegated ko na feeling ko kailangan ko na siyang i-water. Kasi minsan nakakalimutan ko din silang i-water. So ayan. Ito yung bago sa at saka yun, Yung nandun sa dulo. And this one. And then ito yung mga uh, dati ko pang nasa collection. So ayan. So dito naman sa second uh, layer ng shelf and dito yung cubic cross na baby galing dun sa isa ko pang cubic cross eto yung una kong cubic cross and then eto hindi ko alam yung name yan eto yung iba pang succulents na nabili ko lang din ganyan siya kasi yung iba niyang uh, leaves nag fall off so trying to survive din eto naman yung cupid nag survive siya eto talaga akala ko tuluyan na siyang mag uh, magugulok kasi nangingitin yung mga dahon niya and then natatanggal. Pero ngayon nag-stable na siya. Yung Fiona, sobrang ganda. And then, ito, I don't know the name. Yung Cubic Frost na Phoebe, yung Super Pump. Ah, uh, shucks. Hindi ko parang may name. 
And then, ito ulit, yung mga feet. So, as you can see, itong mga to, medyo nagiging green na yung gitna nila. Kasi nga, hindi nga sila na sisinaga ng araw. So, kaya din napilitan kami maggawa ng DIY grow lights. Napaka-timing naman na napanood ko yung video ni Mr. Andrew. And then, ito yung choco moonstone or choco something, choco bronze. Lovely rose and then yung frog toes na itatanim ko na sila in different pots kasi meron na akong mga pots. Lupa naman yung wala. So, madali na yun. Yung bunny ears ko, uh, star something, <laughs> yung mother plant ng super palm, and then yung ito, hindi ko pa alam yung name yan. Yung compactum, and then amapil. Hindi pa rin alam yung tamang pronunciation, pero yun. Itong blue surprise, and then Hercules. I think purple delight to. Pag tinignan mo kasi siya, medyo madilim. And then yung isa yung topsy turvy na tinry ko din i, i parang buhayin. Kasi muntik na rin siya talagang mag tuloy tuloy yung pagiging deads niya. So, medyo madilim. Actually, gabi na. And napag-isip, like, um, I figured na mas magandang gabi ko video niya yung grow lights. Kakatapos lang din naman siyang gawin. Kasi, mas may kita niya yung liwanag nung, nung grow lights kapag gabi na. Kasi pag umaga, medyo din niya yung gin. Hindi niya siya mapapansin. Tapos gusto ko lang din i-share. Uh, ito nga pala yung mga pots na napili ko from Shopee. Kasi nga gusto ko uniform yung itsura nung pots ko na pa-square. So, nagkamali na nga ako kasi yung iba hindi na square. Kasi kailangan ko na talaga silang i-plant. And then, dito sa may bottom, may tanga. Ito, sorry, medyo makalat. Pero, bumili ako ng mga, uh, yung patukaan ng manok. Sobrang mura lang pala nito, guys. 10 pesos lang isa dun sa binilhan namin. Eh, actually, matagal na ako naghahanap nito. Kasi, mas maganda, para sa akin, uh, mas okay sana itong uh, gawing taniman. Kasi nga, terracotta, so ma-absorb niya yung excess water. And then, or clay pot siya, so ma-absorb ma niyo yung excess water and then, hindi pa siya matakaw sa sa potting mix. O, oh, ba So, lalo yung lalo na sa mga echeveria, hindi naman yung nagro-root ng super uh, big roots, tas deep. So, okay na okay to dun sa mga big ko na echeveria. And then, ang dami kong ideas na feeling ko pwede pa ako mag-paint, paint, ganyan. Feeling, feeling, ano, magaling mag-art ko, no? kahit hindi naman. So, hindi siya perfect kasi syempre, halagang 10 pesos lang naman. Pero imagine, for 10 pesos, meron ka ng uh, taniman. Bumina ko ng I think 10 pieces ata. So, so, pipinturahan ko na lang siya. Pero hindi ito sa ngayon kasi nga um, wala pa ako masyadong time. So, pinakita ko lang din sa inyo yun. Tapos yung lava rocks ko, dumating na rin yung dalawang order ko ng lava rocks. So, ayun na siya. So, balik na tayo dun sa taas. So, yeah, no? Ang ganda, ba? Sobrang gandang ganda naman ako. Sabi ko nga dun sa fiancé ko, sobrang happy ako dun sa ginawa niya. So, although parang kailangan pandagdagan ng isa pang strip light dito, so, bali dapat dalawa para ata mas maliwanag pa. Kasi itong sa ilalim, itong bottom na to, dalawa. So, parang mas bet ko yun. Pero, I'll be working with, ano, kung ano yung meron ako for now. Sobrang ganda niya, sorry, pero let's just appreciate how beautiful my my plant um, shelf and my grow lights are, as well as my plants. And sobrang ganda, tapos na-appreciate, sobrang, ewan ko, siguro bias din ako, pero sobrang ganda kasi yung may gawa talaga nito, yun nga, yung fiancé ko. Siya yung gumawa nung shelves ko, and then siya na rin yung nag-wiring um, nag nung DIY, kumbaga yung grow lights ko. Hindi ko na siya na-videohan kasi ano yun eh, medyo mas gusto ko pag nag-work siya yung siya lang, hindi ko siya guguluhin. Pero tinatulong-tulongan ko siya. Pero madali lang to guys. So, if you guys want me to do a video about the DIY grow lights, I can. May explain ko naman siya ng very, very light. And then, if anything, I could just like put the, the link in the description box below para dun sa DIY grow lights. So, yun lang. I'll do an, an update next time. So, thank you.